Hello everyone. Now, in my last video where I looked at unique sets, I said that I would like to try the Bloodlust set in the future because it looks really interesting, the set bonuses were quite good, so I wanted to test it out. And it gave me an idea. So for this video, we're going to see how long you can last in Fatal Bridge with only epic armor. For this experiment, we're going to be using my main archer, which is level 181. We're also going to be enchanting every item to plus 20, and we're also going to be using mythical skills and stuff like that. So it's not going to be completely epic, but the armor themselves will be all epic. Now before we put the epic items in and obviously change my build, I do want to look at my current build because I think it'll be good to compare the two. Um, so obviously general stats, strength's at 10k, dexterity at 8k, stamina's at 1k, intelligence 580, my offensive uh, damage at 21k, uh, armor pen at 85%, critical rate 100%, critical severity 1.4k, um, moving on to the defensive stuff now, health's at 79k, about no magic shield, uh, defense at eighty four percent, block rate one hundred percent, block severity ninety two percent, control resistance thirty two percent. Moving into mana, which is at four hundred and fifty six. So that's my current build. Uh, now we're going to change it to put the epic items on. So after changing my passive skill tree, inserting the epic items, changing the gems inside the items. Here is the results, we'll start with the general stats and as you can see strength is still pretty high, it's at 8k. Uh, stamina on the other hand is really really low and this means that we're going to have basically no health and we're going to die really easily. Dexterity has actually improved compared to my um, other build, my main build. Um, is actually at 9k, intelligence has gone down as well. So now we're going to move on to the offensive stats and damage is at 17k which is obviously lower than my main, however 17k is still enough i think to get you through fatal bridge haste has gone up armor pen's gone up as well 86 percent so that is actually crazy when you think about it because i'm using no um strength gems at all i'm pretty sure most of my stuff is dexterity gems so that means that even without the strength gems the armor pen is still really high so that's really good whereas if you look at my last build most of um in fact no all of my gems are strength gems so that's pretty good chris crate is 100 percent it's because i'm using only dexterity gems which is why they're so high critical severity has gone down to 715 percent skill recovery you know not that important defensively and as you can see health is really low it's at 33k we're not going to get through fatal bridge the health is just too low magic shield 606.9k um health regen is lower but it's fine defense is really low it's not even 60 percent so that's also really bad block crate 98 percent uh with the adaption passive skill that will take it to 100 percent so that's all right however you'd still want it at 100 percent block severity is down to 86 percent which is still pretty good i think that's still all right um so yeah and obviously intelligence stats are pretty low as well so overall i think offensively that's actually pretty good i'm actually really happy with that i think damage wise will be fine but defensively we're in big trouble on the screen now is the epic items that i'm using as you can see um, i'm using the full bloodlust set but i'm also using some other non-unique epic items as well So after looking at the items and looking at the stats, we have to test it at Fatal Bridge and that's what I did. I went to Fatal Bridge and tested it and damage wise, I was really happy. Obviously, we looked at the stats and the stats said that the damage was going to be alright. We had good armor pen, good crit severity, good damage and it showed and actually using the potions, my haste went through the roof like my haste is ridiculously high as you can see i'm firing arrows really really fast 
Um, so damage wise, we were all right. The problem that we have is that we literally have no health at all. And obviously because we don't have 100% block rate either, there's a chance that we don't block damage. And as a result, although we kept killing enemies really quickly because we have a lot of damage, we also died a lot. And I think I died like four or five times and I died for the final time at level 172. So um, when looking at epic items, um, clearly, they do have some use because I mean damage wise we were very good and I think damage wise epic items did the job however defensively because I didn't have enough defensive stats and also my rings aren't great we this ended up not working and so you probably won't be able to use epic items alone to clear fatal bridge unless they're really really good or you're just really really high level the video doesn't end here though and the reason why is because although an all epic build has failed it isn't great for fatal bridge i have decided that the bloodlust set on its own can be used to create a build that is good enough to complete fatal bridge so what we're going to do now is we're going to keep the bloodlust set but we're now going to add the protector's ring two of them and we're also going to add defender's storm and defender's quill As you can see, after changing the equipment a bit, the stats obviously have changed and in particular the defensive stats have gotten far far better. Now, um, instead of 59% defense, we're looking at 88%. Uh, block rate still not 100% but still close enough. Uh, block severity has gone up as well and health has gone up too. So now we should have a better chance of doing Fatal Bridge. After making those changes and testing it in Fatal Bridge, I last far longer. As you can see, I'm well into level 190. I do end up dying at level 198, but this clearly shows that although you can't use epic items on their own, unless you have some seriously good epic items, you can use them alongside unique legendaries or good normal legendaries with high stats, and you can still complete Fatal Bridge. So. No, you don't need legendary items all the time. You can use epic items, but you're gonna need to use either a combination of the both or legendary items.